Hello friends, Metabot here, and today we are playing some more Romancing Saga Reuniverse, and it is exciting because a bunch of stuff just dropped today. I totally forgot we were getting these updates, so it was a surprise to me when I logged in and saw the news. Um, we got a new pickup summon that has uh, SS styles for Final Emperor and Jamil. A new S style for Nightheart and an A style for Rook. And uh, in addition, we got Lost Memories Yulian, which is like the sequel to Lost Memories Ellen. And we got Chapter 1, Episode 7, Madeline Warrior of Gasaya Part 2. I don't remember <laughs> what Part 1 was about. <laughs> Chapter, or, I mean, Episode 6. Um. And we got something called Treasure Cave. Collect maps in Maine and go to Treasure Cave to get wonderful rewards. I don't know what this is. During the event, Treasure Cave maps have a chance to drop when clearing quests in Maine Chapter 1, Episodes 1-7. to seven. Start Treasure Cave quests using Treasure Cave maps and clear the quest to get awesome rewards. Two types of Treasure Cave maps, SS Treasure Cave maps, and Treasure Cave maps. <laughs> They have a chance to drop the required stamina and difficulty of the main quest is not a chance to drop rate or amount of treasure cave maps. Okay, so you, it doesn't matter what difficulty. <clears throat> Two types of quests for this event. Treasure cave gold. Use SS treasure cave maps to start treasure cave gold quests. Clearing treasure cave gold quests, you can get gold pieces, platinum summon tickets. Ooh, platinum summon tickets! And other rewards. And then regular treasure cave map to start treasure cave spree and treasure cave quests. Come clearing treasure cave spirit treasure cave. You can get platinum summon tickets and other rewards. Wow, it requires five times more treasure cave maps to get a treasure cave spree than treasure cave. But you can get five times more. What? Basically, we play main quests as much as we can and get these maps. And then we can go on some other quests that we can get uh, some gold pieces and platinum summon tickets, which we can spend here. We need five tickets to summon at all. But let's do go ahead and do our free summon for today. And then we will go check out uh, episode seven. Ooh. So we're getting at least an S, I think. Yesterday I got an SS. I got blue. I already had, but you know, that's 40 uh, jigsaws for blue. Oh my gosh! <laughs> got him again! <laughs> well, that's 80 jigsaws for blue. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it. <laughs> Okay, so let's go check out the new chapter, or the new episode. It's still chapter one. What is that? Is that the Lost Chapters thing? There's a cave. There's some other cave. Another cave that looks the same. These look like the, um... Uh, the caves near the Great Arch. Treasure Cave Gold, Treasure Cave Lost Memories, Yulian, 7 1, Mount Ellen Warrior, Gasai Ooh, it's a lot of stuff. Okay. Let's go check out this new story quest. I think um, Madeline is the one that's um, the reincarnation of. Oh, what's his name? Khalid. Oh my gosh, I couldn't think of his name. It looks like Kazinsi is in here. And uh, Jenny, Polka, that one weird guy. Well, let's just go. The best of Marquis Zenon, Polka and the others came to the Ak I Ake Woods H Achi. They hope to secure the A of the guessing remnant leader, Madeline. However, provoked by the warrior Sif, Madeline. Yeah, I kind of remember this one. They like started fighting. She matches Sif blow for blow. 
She deserves the title of Kalia's incarnation, yeah. Who are you? From where do you hail? I am Sif the Vahans. Other world warriors. Swordsman cross guy. I thought Sif used an axe. Afraid it cannot be done. Why not? Flame has died out. A little bit. Oh, the cum scene. I don't understand. It's all demonic beast slaying and ambush. I remember this place from Romance and Saga 3. It's a good level up spot in that game. <laughs> okay. Um, probably the best level up spot in the game. I think it's a little hidden secret. Because not a lot of people know. Oh, we can get a... Some swords from here, so oh, we can get the treasure coming. Okay, we'll just use our training to team. They're probably enough to get through this. Cool background, I like the blue lava, blue fire. We will just auto through, auto through, and see how they go. We got flying slash. Flame whip? Yeah, we're just taking everything out. We'll get some more stats here for uh, Laura and Amory. Because we want to power up our unlimited Saga characters. Eventually we'll be able to make a whole party out of them. That'll be a crash party, but it's a party. Well, Judy is uh, supposedly pretty good. Laura's okay. Um, I think when they're released, they're not bad at all. And then Armek, I don't think is supposed to be that great. And then um, Henri is bad. Because <laughs> he only has an S style. But uh, Laura, Judy, Armek, Henri. We won't even have enough to make a full party. We got two treasure maps. Fire Fortress. Three hundred years ago, the great hero Khalid and the Gessian remnants who revered him took back their stolen land and rebuilt their kingdom. Oh, they took it back and rebuilt? In the Civil Wars, and some years later, Naj was once again annihilated. Oh. That's kind of cool, we're um, learning about what happened to the civilizations after the events of Romance and Saga 3. The people who fled to these ruins still live. My apologies, I misspoke. I have a crush on Valdor. The town of Lance. Search the area and there's no trace of anyone having been here. I have a crush on Shendu too. I wish we got a Shendu, we get that like crappy A style of him and we don't ever get like an SS style of Shendu. That's something we desperately need. Or in Lance, I kind of said that, didn't it? Alter chamber, more swords. Let's get some map pieces. If we can get platinum summon tickets, man, I might like use up more of my uh, potions, stamina potions, because I would really like to get a bunch of free summons. I'm still looking for S. Laura. Maybe I would save them and use them after these uh, new styles get added in, so I have a chance to get some new styles. I have a lot of the existing styles. Then we get a chance of getting Nightheart and Rook pretty easily. And then we might get lucky and get Final Emperor or... Who was it? Jamil. The well, Final Emperor would be pretty cool. I'd rather have Final Empress. 
because she's cooler, but Final Emperor is cool too. I wonder if we'll ever get like the matriarch and the arch fiend. <laughs> That'd be crazy. <laughs> the matriarch would be awesome because she's like super powerful and cool. And the arch fiend would be cool because he's hot. He got a mustache. Maybe we'll like fight him sometime. Though, to be honest, I just want to see more of the side characters. And more original characters like Shandu and Valdor. And this quick rematch. <clears throat> I'm so used to pounding that rematch button. It's like all you do all day is grind. Undying flame. What's this? It looks like burned wood. What remains of the undying flame? So it died? <laughs> The Undying Flame. Lit by a Gassian high priest centuries ago to ward off evil, the flame remained lit until mere days ago. It burned for hundreds of years and didn't go out even once. It was moved here from the city of kings. But such a flame should go out. Did someone forget to add firewood terror? You're so dumb. With the death of the Undying Flame, it follows the death of the Heavenly Flame. What does that mean? This Gessian legend. When this flame goes out, the sun itself shall vanish. You won't follow me, we'll see the sun go out, and then we'll all be dead. Grand Hall. Well, this attic robe looks pretty good, actually. I might have to come back and farm this. If I don't have something already like this, I need to check. these fights that start with like five things because my auto team doesn't have any uh, all range attacks <laughs> we do have uh, Laura has that uh, one area effect ability but it only affects um, a horizontal line I think that's the only area of effect ability in the party I don't I think Gustav has um, Waterfowl Blade, because that affects like a column. I'm pretty sure he doesn't have it there. And then I think uh, Miriam does have an all range attack, but it's like costs a ton of BP, so she's never going to use it in auto battles. I like a little sound effect for snake shot. Ranked up Flash Pierce. Ranked up Flame Whip. Give me some maps. Treasure maps. So if we have an like, aesthetic robe in easy, or I mean in normal, maybe we'll get some uh, really nice armors in hard and very hard. It's a calamity from 300 years ago. Yep, the rise of Marastrum or whatever it's called. And if it was 300 years ago, that means it's about to happen again. Yeah. It doesn't destroy the world, it just destroys newborn life. 
Bartholomew is so weird. Why does he like smell everything? I like him though, he's really cool looking. And he's an interesting character. Sensei! It was sprayed by a dog. You will not call me dog, but your master. <laughs> you know who I am. I don't know if you're the mightiest, Sensei. You're my favorite, but... <laughs> Chamber of Murals. We got a bunch of crap here. Tiger armor. That looks pretty good, too. Yeah, these armors look like they might be good. Let's see. Up strength and endurance. Yeah, I need to check and see if we have armors that compare to these, because uh, I might be coming back here to find some armors. But they probably drop really rare. Hopefully we have better choices in hard and very hard. We're fighting some kind of Cerberus thing. First one gargoyle, then two gargoyles. Okay, these things are pretty beefy. It still hasn't gone down yet. I feel like the first one died a lot more quickly than these ones are dying. I need to check on, yeah, um, Flurry's heal costs too much, so when he's a zero BP, he can't cast the heal. This is bad. <laughs> I need to, uh, awaken that or whatever it is. Ooh, that was a little scary when I saw he was doing something in all range attack. <sighs> and thankfully, uh, Flurry resists fire naturally, so... Hopefully he will continue to heal. <sighs> He's making me nervous. We're doing decent damage, though. Miriam is not of any help here. Ooh, it's three attacks. Wait, what just did three damage? Was that like Miriam's regular attack or something? I wasn't really thinking. I just saw the number. Stop doing a pretty good uh, job of uh, tanking those attacks. I think actually Henri is doing the most damage. <laughs> no, no, it's Gustav who's doing the most damage, I think. Hey, Miriam ended up being the one who took him off, though. Got a instant return ticket. Wait, I see someone on bed. Is that a snowman? Snowman, do not walk. Oh, little do you know, Sif.
the way that they just talk about the snowman and don't like reveal anything. Hellfire. Okay, we have another thing here. This is tiger armor. We already have tiger armor. I'm pretty sure. So maybe these really aren't that good, and I'm just getting excited over nothing. Ugh, I hate poison. Like, it's cool that we have paralysis attacks, but like they always paralyze at the most useless times. Like right before the thing dies or as it's dying or something. Whoa. Okay, it's a lot of lizard ladies. They're kind of strong. Okay. We got one down. And I'm expecting very hard to be pretty hard, not something I'll be able to auto through. Hopefully I can auto through some of it. I'm gonna try because it would be nice if there's farmable stuff for us to be able to farm. But uh, it probably costs a ton of uh, stamina. Oh my gosh. More lizard ladies and those bugs back there are gonna poison us. Gustav is tanking pretty well though. That would have been a good time for Laura to use, uh... Cool Dragons. Flurry keeping up with the heals. I think he's gonna kill on me this turn. Oh, okay, the Dragon Lizard ladies are out. These things don't have too much HP in them. Now he's gotta heal this time. There we go. Hey, you wanna my Frank up? That's pretty good. Maybe up the tiger armor. I'm pretty sure we already had, but still nice. Uh, Madeline Warrior of Messiah Part 2. I always forget there's two parts to each episode. Playful Clown. Finally caught up to you, and that was fast, Bartholomew. Ringmaster. Oh! He's the ringmaster of the circus you were in? Yeah, that's really weird. The one I was told to bring my life is the impudent fairy. Astronomer. Everyone listen, we saw all pretend we were about to engage the enemy and then flee immediately. It's completely unnumbered, I don't see the need to run. Disturbing aura.
silver mount. Yeah, I feel like we have that too. That's not very good. Look at that. Always endurance, agility, and will. I finally understand the benefit of having intelligence because it, uh, like on your non-magic characters, because it um, increases your ability to land status effects. So you definitely want to have that. So she paralyzes that and then it dies. And it was after it already did its attack, so it's like, no point. So I hope Laura uses dual dragons here. I don't think she can use it other than the first turn unless uh, a wave goes by without her getting to attack or something so that she saves up enough BP for it. Whoa. Ouch, that took out Laura. And Flora doesn't have enough to heal her. Things are looking bad for our ex-pirate friend. <laughs> she didn't even need healed. the clown. That's Kazinsi. Let's make it a contest. Okay. Oh, are we gonna fight? Cause see, that'd be cool. I feel like Neptunes are gonna be a little hard to take out. Oh, they're not strong against fire. Oh my god. They down Gustav in one turn. I hope the next wave isn't like three Neptunes. <laughs> that would be a bit scary. That's just a despiser. And we got a despiser in Neptune. It's not too bad. I mean, they're both 
formidable foes for this party, but they're not gonna like wipe us out. Oh, they survived that. Nice job, guys. There we go. That really wasn't that hard. I was a little scared in the beginning, but it ended up being pretty easy. What is this? Oh, so funny. <laughs> oh, is this like a memory? Tis fate. So does that mean canonically? Oh no, so they're actually seeing them fight? Or are they seeing a memory? I'm so confused. Okay, so it is a vision from the from the other world's past. I thought this was the same world. I'm so confused. Perhaps there will be a snowman. So, are, are we saying canonically Monica and Yulian took on Alakas? Oh man. This looks like it might be getting a little hard for our training two team. We'll go ahead and still use them. Cause they're getting the big stats up for me. <laughs> we'll see how they do. This first round doesn't seem so bad. The last round is like five ogres. <laughs> That'd be really scary. Three ogres. I was expecting something like that. I was expecting actually two, uh, two of one and one of the other. Of that um, monkey thing that was in the first one. Maybe that's what the final round will be. Hey, I was right. Two and one. Elder, that's what they call. Oof. There goes on me. That's pretty nice. And they're surviving pretty well. Yeah, that wasn't so bad in the end. If they barely leveled up, though.
Okay, place it. A grave night. Upper floor. Oh, I'm getting a bit worried about these guys, but we're gonna try it anyway. Yeah, fighting three buggers is a little scary. Gustavo is a pretty good tank, though. We stopped to the training one team. Yeah, I might do that. So right now it's uh, Gerard. Down goes Laura. Three damage. Flurry needs to heal himself. Oh no, he doesn't. He has plenty of HP. Man, I thought after getting hit by that whirlwind, he would be running out. Hey, dual dragons when it actually does something. Self-heal there, Gustav. Right at the perfect time, keep you alive. And that is victory. That was okay for what was up. What is this? Protective suit. Yeah, I think we have that. Door of Demonic Flame. <laughs> I think I found them. Look over there. Like, they couldn't see that. <laughs> And we got a boss. Should we see if this team can take it? Only Henri and Miriam are getting the big ups. Let's go ahead and try it. 
What is there to lose but a little stamina? Oh god. <laughs> like five on it. This is bad. Keep pulling yourself to stuff. No, he didn't get it. Okay, he's actually getting taken out pretty quickly. Stop here. No. Round two is only three on us. Heal Gustav, please. Flurry. There he goes. Nice, we get the combo in the water of life. So hopefully it healed a little bit more than normal. Here I am, your basic attack is so bad. I'm used to Undine's basic attack, which is like respectable at least. Oh man, it resists fire and slash. That's not good. And it gets German strikes, and they're pretty strong. Whoa! Nice. Even after all that, we only did about like a little over a quarter of the HP and damage, so... Oh! These bites! Oh my gosh! 200 to damage to Marion. Larry, do something! Oh my gosh, three are almost dead. And there goes one. Bam. Oh, he'll be stuck. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Okay, now he'll heal Laura this time. They target... They target the dead first. And then... If there's multiple people to target, they target them in order that they are on the uh, party screen. So, like, the person in position one will get healed first, which is Gustav, and uh, then it goes two, three, four, five, of course. In the order they are. And I don't know which position is two and three and four and five, but I'm pretty sure the uh, people in the front are two and three. So, uh, Miriam and Flurry himself are the last ones to get, uh, healed, and we are almost killed it, but it's also almost killed us. This is gonna be a really close call. And, yeah, it gets to bite, bite, bite. <laughs> we survived it. Laura's gonna take it out with Flash Pierce. We did it! Whew, good job, little guys. Okay, you definitely deserve more stats up than that. At least we got a couple of ranks up. And all we got was a glaive. That was sad rewards for how close that was. Flurry used all his heals. Demonic flame released. Who's that gray? People formulate their concept of self when they see that their self that exists within the consciousness of others. What? When I cease to be known by others, I cease to be. I am the reflection of another's consciousness. If everyone forgets you and yourself ceases to exist, Sarah, you will disappear. What's going on? Oh no, that's gray down there. Who's the guy up at the top? Gray, what's wrong? No, it's not that. Oh, it's Carmen. Yeah, I didn't recognize him.
I say we open them. Well, that's kind of smart, Polka, though. Uh, why, would you not have to hide it yourself? Like, you're just gonna be able to control it? Oh, it was Alakas. Everyone's wishes. Ooh! We're getting Madeline? As a style? Seems we made it. When the dark star appears, the only one who can prepare people is the one who wants the comp scene. Yeah, she needs to get the comp scene. That's pretty cool. We got Madeline, reincarnation of Khalid. But oh, she's cool looking, I like her sprite. Sadly, she's not very good. Maybe we'll get like an S or an SS of her in the future. Knee split, Gale slash, and simmering, shimmering slash. Knee split's okay. It affects a row. Fast. Eh. She gets endurance and agility up. Agility up. Wow, that's not very good. <laughs> and hard mode is unlocked. But uh, I think that's where we're, we're gonna stop for here. I will do probably another video on hard mode and very hard mode, and we will see what kind of cool stuff we can collect from those. Um, why does it say special offer on normal map drop event? This is map drop event too. It's weird that the special offer thing's only over normal, but oh well. And then uh, actually. Since we're here, let's go see what that uh, treasure cave thing is like. Let's see, we got events, nope. Shrine, lost memories, okay. How, what do we, how do we use these treasure maps? Challenge? Oh, treasure cave gold. So, collect treasure cave maps in main and go to treasure cave to get wonderful rewards. Oh, wow, look at all the stuff you can get. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, but we need one SS to get into here. There's regular treasure cave. Oh my gosh, we need 50? Or 200? <laughs> we have six. And okay, so let's see. That's so weird and random. And then Spree is the same stuff. I'm guessing it just has better drop rates. And more drops. Oh my gosh. I can't believe that costs 250. I wonder if it's worth it to save up the 250. Like if you're going to get five times as much stuff. Or if it's better to do five regular treasure caves. There's a big Scaccini up there. He's kind of cool. He's creepy, but he's cool. Hmm. Okay, well, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you later. Have fun. Play this game.